All right, Corey Geiger, Neil Riddell, we're coming to you live from somewhere on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. We're driving back from the Penn State game. We just found out the news that uh, Penn State has fired offensive coordinator John Donovan. Neil, this really comes as no surprise. And frankly, the fact that James Franklin did this so quickly the next day after the regular season finale, I think that shows good leadership on his part. It's decisive for sure. I, I, you know, I kind of wrote a piece on for Saturday's paper saying, uh, you know, let's see what would happen when you got more of a dual threat quarterback, more of a system quarterback in there and give <clears throat> Donovan that opportunity. But obviously, this I agree, this thing has been building. Their offense played decently, put up good numbers at Michigan State. Uh, so I think obviously he had uh, made this decision within the past several weeks. And, you know, to do it gives John Donovan a chance to move on with his life and get maybe maybe get another job. Let's look at this from a human standpoint first and foremost because, look, we all are sports fans and it's always a mentality of fire this guy, fire that guy. John Donovan is a human being. He's got a family. These are tough decisions to make. He's James Franklin's friend. I wish nothing but the best for John Donovan, as I'm sure you do as well. He didn't work out all that well at Penn State. But let's take a step back from our sports is everything mentality and realize that, hey, this is, this is a guy that uh, this is his career. Had to be uh, that much harder. This was James Franklin's offensive coordinator, not just this year, but for five years. Had success at Vanderbilt. Helped him get the Penn State job. Um, you know, part of James Franklin's resume was built. Uh, you know, why he got the Penn State job was wins over Georgia and Florida and Tennessee and things that Vanderbilt had never achieved. John Donovan was part of that. James Franklin thought he could do this job. What happened since then and along the way, uh, you know, maybe will come out in the coming in the coming days and weeks, but maybe not. Maybe it'll just be kind of handled internally. I don't know if how much conflict there was. There did seem to be organizational issues that I think fall to the feet of the offensive coordinator. Even yesterday, for as well as they played at times moving the ball in the 20s, as soon as they got down into a scoring zone, you know, they had a false start. They had an illegal uh, alignment penalty. They had to take a timeout. Just stuff that should not happen to well-coordinated teams. Right, and we're all going to talk about play calling. We don't like this or that. We know that they inherited a pro-style quarterback when that's not what they're used to running. So there were a lot of issues that we've seen. This, this was really an inevitable point this afternoon that John Donovan is going to be relieved. So where do they go? I mean, what, what do they do next? What kind of coordinator will they bring in next, do you think? I think they'll bring in somebody who has a, a background with a uh, – you know, kind of a, a spread game that they, you know, somebody who has a track record of success uh, they, in a dual threat way. Uh, we'll see the kind of contacts that James Franklin has. He's been at a number of places. I'm, I'm sure he's a very visible coach in, in terms of uh, with other guys at the convention. He always talked about his, he always talked about his coordinators and his staff having lists of people that they could go to when somebody either got a job by their own, by their own choice or maybe ob obviously by your choice. Is this the only change? Now there could be some coaches leave for other jobs in the next few weeks or setting up other jobs. I seriously wonder about Herb Hand, the offensive line coach. The offensive line has really struggled. Do you think this could be the only change? Well, I don't think you want to totally, um, you know, blow up your staff before, you know, during recruiting and before the bowl game. So I, I would look for, this was a decisive move. It was one move for now. We'll see if there are a couple other people that are maybe sort of encouraged to, to look and we'll see what happens, uh, you know, through the next couple weeks. But the fact that it was Donovan, uh, that's a pretty big uh, position. He may be able to just get away with, look, I, I fired the offense coordinator. I made a decisive move. We're going to move on from there. But we don't really know yet. All right. It'll be an interesting next few weeks uh, leading up to the bowl game. Hey, thanks for watching.